and he is the founder of Cita dell'Arte Fondazione Pistoletto, which uses art to inspire responsible social change. Michelangelo Pistoletto created this monumental rebirth sculpture for the 70th anniversary of the United Nations in 2015. And we are very honored to have him here today and to link the strong visual message that we will see in a moment with the theme of the World Day this year. After Michelangelo Pistoletto's statement, you are invited to view a performance by students from Collège du Le Mans and the International School of Geneva, Campus des Nations, linking the symbolic meaning of the sculpture to the theme of the World Day Against Child Labour. And this performance will also include children's appeals from Syria, Uganda, Myanmar, and the Dem Democratic Republic of Congo, as well as a message from the students themselves. Michelangelo, the floor is yours. It's a big honor and a big pleasure to be here today. Uh, I always think it's necessary to be in the right, in the right place in the right moment. I think this, for me, is a perfect place and a perfect moment. Um, because, because this uh, sculpture you, are, you, are, you, have, you have seen already is there, uh, I think, in a place that cannot be in a better place. Uh, it is the place where uh, all the different nations uh, are connected. And we have the stones here given by the different nations. Each stone comes from a, sp uh, a specific country. And all together they make a sign. They make a symbol. And it is the symbol of the unification, of the connection, of the harmony, of the balance. Uh, and it is very important, I think, uh, to have in this moment uh, this, uh, that uh, everybody is talking about change, the necessity of having a, a, a better life all together on the planet. But uh, for me, it was important as an artist to say, yes, it is important, all that. But we, we need a, a flag, we need a sign, we, we need a, um, a symbol that can give to everybody the possibility to understand in which, in which way we have to meet, to understand where we are going, to have a point to go. And, and a symbol that also can push from the back to, to go. And, and, uh, this, this symbol is simply made by three circles. Uh, the two external circles represent all the opposites, all the conflict, the negative and the positive. And the, the center circle represents the connection, the interconnection between all the opposites. Uh, and the opposites are part of our life everywhere, individually, we are we are we are divided in two good and, and bad i am very very good and very very bad but but i have to find a unification of of these two parts of myself and the circle in the center represent that unification that possibility of creating a third stadium between the two opposites that it will be probably not only individual but also social one and one, the two circles, one and one makes three. Doesn't make two. One is you, one is me. And in the center, there, there is what we can do together. That is the third element. So it is the symbol of the creation. We have to use the capacity of being creative. That is human. Human has to be creative. But be, you can be creative also being monster, creating monsters. So we have to put the monster on one side and the, the good quality on the other side and, and creating in the center the third element. 
that is the creation. We have the possibility of using this symbol for all occasions. Everybody, one and one makes three. You and me, we make three. And this third element is the one that we have to create together. That is the peace, is the, is the, uh, the balance, is the equilibrium. And for me, the fact that today uh, we speak about, uh, everybody is speaking about labor, about work, uh, that is the, that means the activity, the human activity. And you speak about children. The children are the element that have to create the next world. The, the, the world has, been, has to be created by them. And so we have to have the children to, uh, to have some, some capacity of creating this new world. Uh, so I, I think it's, uh, it's the time to give the floor to the children to make the performance. Thank you very much. Soldiers, the commander hit us so we wouldn't be found. I was shot during clashes, 
and it was then that I managed to leave. Many children are still being held by prisoner, by rebel chiefs. Please do everything you can to free us. We, students of Geneva, are honored to be included in this important event. We are taught at a young age that we are all equal and all have the right to live in peace and with mutual respect. We are very privileged to benefit from a great education and many opportunities, and we are aware that many children in the world don't share these privileges. For this reason, we must use our voices and do everything in our power to raise awareness on child labor. We are here together today to support the World Day Against Child Labor and to give voice to children whose voices are not heard. Paolo Nardini, Città dell'Arte Director, uh, just an impression on today. Well, it was an extremely inspiring day after a few months' work with the United Nations uh, offices of ILO. Uh, we brought together lots of different uh, stakeholders and a youth uh, expression of joy and lightness. So it was lightness and heaviness brought together. Uh, we had the dark side and the bright side of our world uh, facing one another. We were in the middle trying to cater for uh, something new to come from it, something better. So a, a head of law or work uh, is ahead. We are uniting hands with United Nations to come together for a great work work of art, work of social change for all of us, individuals and communities, children, enterprises, associations, even governments. So this is what is happening and it is all happening around the third paradise symbol or the rebirth symbol which is exactly what we are experimenting and experiencing. So it was a great day in the long run. Thanks.